Good evening, good evening. This is Marie Holiday, and I hope everybody had a fabulous evening today. And be uh, before we get started in today's lecture, please hit that subscribe button and hit that notification button. Support and subscribe to my channel. So the focus of this lecture is going to be part three in pursuit of the Joneses. Part three in pursuit of the Joneses. Please check out my prior two video uploads that I did on uh, in pursuit of the Joneses part one and two. Please check those out. And so with that being said, let's get down to today's lecture. I'm going to present five more reasons on why it is a bad idea to pursue the Joneses. And I'm here to tell you. But before I get into those reasons, I want to present and say, first of all, to keep up with the Joneses, explaining what that is, is to look at the perceived accumulated wealth, property, and experience of one's neighbor or a friend or a co-worker or a family member and the individual will try and buy or do the same in order to keep up with that perceived wealth. For example, if, if the Joneses go out and buy uh, uh, a brand new motorcycle or get, get renovation done to their house or take a lavish vacation to Japan, then the, the person who is who is chasing or pursuing the Joneses is either going to try to match that or exceed it. And I'm here to tell you. So I'm going to present five important reasons on why it is a bad idea to be in hot pursuit of the Joneses. Number one, to keep up means you have to constantly change every time the trend changes. You got to change with all of these trends. Trends are constantly changing. They change from year to year, season to season, and sometimes every month, especially when you're looking at technology. So those who are assessed with keeping up with the Joneses, what will happen is you will also have to constantly, constantly spend money, and it's more and more money, spend time, spend money, keeping up with the trends and buying what's new in order to stay in pursuit of the Joneses, in order to keep up with the Joneses, and I'm here to tell you. And that will also create financial destruction. Reason number two in regards to why this is a bad idea to pursue the Joneses, it seems that the more one gets, the more one feels that they have to have to continue to buy and continue to buy and to continue to buy in order to impress others. And yet, you probably already know how annoying it can be to have someone constantly showing off their newest and greatest possession. And I'm here to tell you. So if you really think about it, do you really want to be that person always showing off what you just bought and talking about what you get just bought and taking pictures of it and uploading it on social media and etc. In reality, that can be that can be annoying to a lot of people, and I'm here to tell you. Number three reason: having more things can actually make you more selfish. There are ongoing studies on why this tends to be true. But it does seem that the less you have, the more likely you are to be able to em emphasize and be generous with what you have versus having excessive material items. You, you're going to have more empathy. You'll be more generous the less you have, according to research. Number four, the more you buy, the less content you are likely to be. Psychologists, they looked at this and they called this phenomenon post-purchase dissonance. Basically, what happens is the more you buy, the worse you feel. And then the more you will want to buy again in order to get that rush or excitement again. Such hyper-spending and keeping up with the Joneses thus becomes a very expensive addiction and one 
that can be very, very hard to overcome. You know, a lot of people out there have actually sought help for this type, type of addiction, and I'm here to tell you. Number five reason, an obsession with the material world. In keeping up with the Joneses, in being in pursuit of the Joneses, means that you have to also keep up with material things. In doing so, your life becomes more materialistic or about capturing the perfect image or thing. This creates an obsession and, and it, it, it can really create an obsession to the point where it becomes unhealthy. So it's better to step back and enjoy the intangible things in life, such as spending time with yourself, spending time with family, quality time with family, with people who really care about, and I'm here to tell you. So ladies and gentlemen, those are the five reasons why it is a bad idea to pursue the Joneses. And unfortunately, you got people in their 20s, 30s, 40s, and 50s who are still in hard pursuit of the Joneses. It will create financial destruction, and I'm here to tell you. So with that being said, that's all I have. Please do not forget, hit that subscribe button, support my channel, share my channel, share this information. And with that being said, simplify, simple fidelities, and I'm going to leave you in the care of your own conscience. Have a great evening.